First of all, I have to tell you, thank you so much for the movie in pretty rough times for everybody. It's so good to have something uplifting, heartwarming with such great actors as you are all. Um, for you, do you also have the feeling in these times you need movies who light you up? I start with you, Carrie. Yes, I think, you know, this year has been a very challenging year for all of us all over the world. Dealing with this global pandemic has been such a challenge and then complicated by, you know, in many places, the economic downturn because of the pandemic and the systematic racism that we're being faced with all over the world. And it just feels like there's a lot. There's a lot that, that, we're, that we're struggling with. And, um, and so to have a film that reminds us all to celebrate who we are and to find the love and the joy and the sense of belonging, no matter who you are, no matter who you love, it just feels so good to bring that out into the world right now. Yeah. Absolutely. By the way, I like your paintings in the back. You're a good painter, Carrie. Yeah. These are my children. <laughs> I These know, are my children. I <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, and Ariana, um, mm -hmm. You know, we all know this feeling that we want to live up to the expectations of the parents, you know, or mm. maybe later in life of your husband. And But kids are mm. like that. They want to live up to the expectations. Did you ever feel a little bit of that pressure also? Can you relate to that? I definitely relate to that. I mean, you know, my mother is, number one, an incredible human being. And um, she's also a public school teacher. And I actually had the good fortune to be in her class one once upon a time. So, you know, I'm very well acquainted with what it feels like to, to feel like you have to live up to an expectation and you need to present excellence. And if you don't, it's not okay. Um, and, and it's hard, it's very hard. But I, I think in regards to, to this, I also would say that in this moment I'm in now, I feel a certain level of pressure as well because I don't want to let anybody down. You know, like young girls of color all over the world get to watch this film and I want them to see see themselves reflected in it. And I'm really proud of what we did. Um, but there does come with that, like a sense of responsibility to them to make sure that their stories are heard as well. So I, I think, you know, I feel a version of that same type of pressure right now. Yeah, because she even had more pressure than Emma, for example, because she was a girl of color Plus, she is gay, uh, lesbian in that sense, you know. So this is uh, even more uh, difficult. And like Carrie said, you know, we have we have this systemic uh, racism, you know. And how do you want to live your life in full if you can't be the way you are? You know what I mean? Right. No, it's it's that is the conversation. I think our film does a really great job of of getting particularly Mrs. Green and Alyssa to that moment where they can look at each other and just say, it doesn't matter who you are or what you identify as, I love you because you're my child, right? People are people and we need to love each other. Um, yeah. And so I'm, I'm really proud that, that our audiences will get to see that happy ending because we yeah. really believe in happy endings right now and possibility that, that change can be achieved. And, but thank you for pointing pointing that out. She, Alyssa, she's got a lot on her plate. She's a young girl. She's a girl of color, and she's gay. That's yeah. that's all. It's not three strikes you're out, but it's a lot of pressure to try and figure out your identity and what lane you can walk in um, and feel safe. And I think that you know, M Mrs. Green and the embodiment of Carrie Washington at the end of it all does a beautiful job of of creating that safety. I know she created Absolutely. that. Yeah. yeah. But you know, Carrie is such a strong woman also, and you're such a role model for a lot of girls, you know? And I think, where did you get your strengths from? Where did you learn to, you know, be powerful? I'm still learning. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> learning all the time, um, you know, how to face my fears and, and own my, my power in, in, in life. Um, but I think uh, partly, you know, my, I come from a very women strong family. My mom has four sisters. Um, mm -hmm. So there's a lot of powerful women in my life growing up. Um, and then I went to a single sex school. I went to an all girls school for junior high school and high school. And I think that had a really profound impact on me because 
you know, I, I really spent very formative years in an environment where women did everything. We played the boys' roles. We played the girls' roles. We were the class president. There wasn't a question of like, can a girl be president? Who else was going to be president? It was just us. And um, I think that had a real impact on me as well. Wonderful. We have to wrap, ladies. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to everybody. And let's stay strong, okay? Amen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> bye, girls. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.